All right, hello, 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 Cheers, Kevin here, and welcome back to Feed the Beast Interactions. And we are going to dive into some Patania today. I have <clears throat> the recipe for a mana spreader right up here on the altar. We're going to go ahead, grab a resonating wand, and set that thing going. And give it a give it a minute. Um, recipe for that was, was fairly straightforward. Just a brass plate, glass lens, uh, some infused wood, which is logs dropped in stuff, and then some... Some uh, some wooden planks that we had to drop into mana. I actually had to steal the glass lens from here because the glass lens require the recipe um, requires aquamarine, and we uh, we're out of aquamarine right now. Uh, yeah, my inventory is entirely entirely full because did I put stuff away? No, I didn't. Uh, we'll get rid of mineral wood. We've got plenty of that. Um, I think that's all that we actually should need to do here in the Void World. Let's go back to the base, and uh, we're going to continue. We're going to rush through uh, a fair bit of Batania today, because I want to get to our floating hopper hawks, and uh, that's going to mean we need mana production and, and stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, uh, l let, me, let me jump back over to the base, and I'll, I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so as the rain pelts down and the lag slowly dissipates, um, <laughs> we can talk about what we're going to be doing. Um, so, yeah, as I, as I mentioned, we're out of Aquamarine. Now, you can... Uh, encounter Aquamarine um, in temples, uh, but, uh, but basically until the, the, right now we can't we can't make them any other way. And so that glass lens, uh, well, we better not need to make another mana spider. Basically, that's all that's all I'm saying. If we look at that glass lens, um, yeah. So we well here's here's an option though. We could use a starlight infuser. It's going to require electrum. And thomium screws. That's a possibility. We might, if we discover we need to do that, then we could get we can get glass lenses without requiring aquamarine because we can just take regular glass and do that. But if you were crafting it, you need glass panes and an aquamarine. So yeah, um, and the the infuser does require you to um, continue collecting starlight. So we would have to uh, make sure we were doubling rock crystals. Actually, hmm. Actually, I don't think we can double rock crystals anyway. So anyway, the whole point is <laughs> point is not for us to do astral sorcery stuff. The point is for us to be able to do botania stuff. Now we have a diluted mana pool. We have a mana spreader. What we're going to need now is a way of producing mana. Um, and oh look at that, we actually get a quest reward. Mana lens of potency. I'm gonna assume that's a good thing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm gonna assume so. Um, I guess I think. Probably we slap this on the spreader and it'll produce more potent mana. When I don't know, I'm 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 just gonna guess. What the heck is going on out there? What on earth is that particle effect? I'm very confused. Oh no no no, that's right. There is a, there is a thing with the resonating one that I believe there are rock crystals underneath when it when it does that. Okay, so that's nice. Um, there are some there are some rock crystals. We can find some more celestial so rock crystals if we need them. But uh, we're not doing that today. We're trying to rush through some botania. So our goal is to get to this floating hopper hawk. Now for that we need a floating flower of some sort and a hopper hawk. A hopper hawk is gonna require a control seal collect, which I think we have, because like, we got it as a quest reward, um, and the hopper, and some mystical white petals. Now we did get mystical white petals as a quest reward. Hopper, we should be able to craft. Yeah, that's just iron plates and a, and a chest or a or a whopper, either way, um, and, then, and then a wrench. Um, so we'll be able to do that. Um, and so that gets us to the hopper hawk. The floating flower, we need dirt. We need any botania flower of some sort. And then pasture seeds. Pasture seeds, we need to actually have a mana pool that has mana in it so we can throw in some dirt, which does have EMC. We can go ahead and toss that into a mana pool and get out these pasture seeds. Okay, so how are we going to do all that? Well, we need to grab those white petals. So let me grab those petals real quick. And I'm also going to uh, grind up this... Uh, some of this bone, because we're going to need to grow these white petals. We're going to need some shears, which we've got some shears here. That I mean, that should be fine. Um, I need my mortar and pestle. Pestle? Mortar? Pestle? I don't know. Yep, we've got that in there. Um, so let's go ahead and, and use it. We'll do that with the bone. Get ourselves some bone meal. And we should be able to grow stuff this way. I think we need to use, we need two shears when we're duplicating uh, the plants, but yeah. Um, so Batania... The, this version of Batania is a little bit non-standard. Um, it looks like there is something down there. I don't know if it's a mob or something else. I mean, there's definitely mobs all the way down there, but I don't know what that white dot is, and I'm a little not super eager to. Oh, that's no, that's me. That's at this. That that's that's me. I'm I'm the white dot. Are you, yeah. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Ignore me. Um, let's go ahead and plant down uh, one of these mystical white petals. There we go. So now it is there, um, and if we grow this, we get this lovely tall flower, and then what we can do is we can shear it like this, and we get the flower, and then we should be able to crush this into four petals, okay? And there we go. Now we have uh, limitless petals, assuming that we have the patience to let this grow. And let's just try... Yeah, okay, so you do need to use shears on it. That's why I didn't, didn't want to do that with the first one, but uh, there we go. Okay, cool. So this is how we go about duplicating these petals. And if we look, you can... Let's see, is there a way for us to... What else can we do with these? 
Well, we can make the hopper hawk. We can also make a wand of the forest, which we will eventually do. We need to drop some wood sticks into um, a mana pool and use that with crystallized mana strike. In fact, we can do this right now. Um, let's go ahead and do that because we're going to need that in order to link our mana pool and stuff. Um, in fact, you know what? Let's plan on setting up. Um, let's set this up right here, right? Why not? Because um, we've got we've got stuff going on here anyway. So we'll set up a very tiny little mana production area, right? So we'll put a Dilute mana pool down here. Let's plop, um, and then I'm just gonna, let's see. Three, four, that'll be good. Whoop, uh, actually, what am I thinking? Let's uh, put that there, and then, well, you know, I don't have to aim it just right. Yeah, I don't I don't care right now. Um, let's go ahead and grab, do, oh, do I not have, okay, fine. Can I vein mine this? Yes, I can, nice, okay. This is not pointed straight down. Can we use this uh, lens on it? Looks like we can. I, okay, it is pointed straight down. So now if we had any mana producing flowers, um, they would start producing mana, which would go to the mana spreader. And then the mana spreader is going to, is going to periodically spew that uh, mana down into this diluted mana pool, which is awesome. So now the question is, how are we going to do that? Um, how, do we, how do we actually start generating mana? And uh, here's, so here's where, here's where the, uh, the uh, quest, the achievements get a little bit confusing because these don't, this isn't a prerequisite to this. Even though the arrows go this way, there's, there's like multiple layers stacked on top of each other of, of quest achievements. It says, hey, now is the time to start making mana. And it says, uh, your starting flower options are Petra Petunia or the Dandelifian. Now, the Dandelifian is very interesting. I looked at it. It's You're basically playing Conway's Game of Life, for those of you who know about that sort of thing. Uh, but with flowers, it's weird. It's a little resource intensive. It doesn't look like there's any way to create. It, it doesn't play on a large enough grid so that you can use a gun, if you know what I'm talking about with Conway's Game of Life, so that you can produce infinite mana that way. So, And if we could do that, then that would be awesome, but we can't. So the other option is to use um, the Petra Petunia. And this does not come standard. Um, this comes uh, from floral floral chemy, um, which we get, uh, which uh, yeah we can we can go ahead and get. The thing is, this needs um, oil. It consumes oil and produces mana as a result. Um, now we'll produce it will consume a couple of different types of oil, um, but we care about oil. We have an iron drum actually, so you know what? Let's go ahead and set up because I happen to know exactly where we can find some oil. So we're gonna see. Um, of course, we probably should be a little cautious because I think a lot of these mobs are do not despawn. Um, if we look, ah, well, I see a spider. Maybe we'll be okay. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out very soon. Um, if I find a safe way down here, that is. Uh, which is an open question. Nope. Huh. Well, we're going to see. I only have to find my way out there. We don't have to, don't have to safely make our way back. So, you know, whatever, it'll be fine. Um, there is, um, a desert out past here. I believe this is the biomes that are generated here. Oh, yeah, we'll just pick up the mob drop because why the heck not? Um, <laughs> We'll eventually want to set up a mob farm and do all that. But yeah, there's a there's a maze of biome here, and I happen to know that there 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 be oil in these hills. Um, so we're actually going to um, get a, an achievement in the in the in the chemical tab. Um, so let me actually. Oh, you know what? It's actually it's out past this village, I think. Yeah, we'll find out. I'm just going to continue running this direction until we until we encounter it, and I'll cut right back. Actually, I may divert briefly over here to see if there's a there's a chest of loot. This would be nice to grab some more aquamarine, just so that we've got it. Oh, wait a second. You know what? Never mind. There we go. There's oil right there. Okay, so there you go. If you want oil, just go looking around on your map. Go run into a cactus for some reason. Don't be me. Okay. Anyway, um, here be oil. Um, we can pop down, plop down the iron drum. Now, I believe this means there should be a lot of source blocks um, underground. Um, we will not... We're not going to worry about those. I think I can touch this without damage. Yeah, we're fine. Um, I'm just going to pick up this block and put it in this bucket. And we can get another, I think there's another source block there. Yep. There we go. And yeah, we'll keep, well, yeah. So if we were, we could then eventually, if you look at the tabs, um, let's see, there is, let's see, da, da, da. I'll guitar this Yeah, there we go. Um, against oil odds, which now we have. We've gotten a quest worth the, yeah, oil spawns in large geysers. Um, and it says, hey, uh, don't use buckets. That's dumb. Um, use a um, fluid pump. Uh, along with some some stuff to convert from Greg Tech energy into our energy. Um, we're not going to do that because we only really need the one. Because um, we're trying to do Batania stuff. We're not trying to get distracted. Let me let me go ahead and cheat. I'll slash home and then just uh, take the transporters back. Because I don't feel like uh, scaling that mountain. Okay, so home sweet home. Um, now we have oil, which is great. And uh, we still need to make the actual Petra Petunia. So we need more mystical white petals, which we've got. Um, white tulips, we, we may have that. Um, 
It doesn't mean it does not have EMC, so we'll have to do that. Um, we need a red alloy cable. We need iron plates and then steel plates to make these dynamic tanks um, from mechanism. Um, and then we'll be able to craft ourselves a petunia, which will be nice, nice, nice. So uh, let me think here. So we've got yeah, mystical white petals. What da, 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 da. what was I just saying? Oh, and fighter grow. Yes, fighter grow. So fighter grow looks like the easiest way here is to use some appetite dust and some coagulated plant ball. And we just happen to be lucky in that we have some appetite ore. So just gotta make sure we. Okay, appetite, uh, or right, yep, right in here. Okay, sweet. Um, let's double check how exactly we're supposed to process this. Okay, cool. So just yeah, pulverize it and then hammer it. We get impure, and then we can we can wash it. Okay, cool. So basically, just your just your standard, just your standard process. And of course, now I'm gonna fight with the whole fact that I still have yet to actually clear this thing out uh, once more. So yeah, whoops. All right, and we just need the one. Um, so let me go ahead and wash that off real quick. I don't think that went in there. Oops. There we go. Okay, there we go. And some appetite dust. We'll combine that with plant ball, uh, which I uh, plant ball. Yeah, plant ball is just four plants uh, up in here. Oh, does it require Batania ones? I forget. Um, well, I guess we'll we'll find out. I have no idea if they have to be all the same plant, or if they have to be Batania plants, or what. Okay, they don't they don't all need to be Batania plants. Um, but that oh wait, it needs a hammer. Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. And I'm wondering actually if saplings would work because that would that would make life very nice and easy. Maybe. Yes. Okay, we can use saplings for that. So this this is a this is something we can derive from EMC, which is fantastic news. Okay, so plant ball, um, combine that with appetite dust, and there we go. We have some fighter grow. That's that's the easiest recipe for re recipe recipe for fighter grow that I've ever seen. Um, it's just fantastic news. Okay, can we make the petra petunia yet? Not yet. White tulip. We need. Um, actually, let's just double check to see if we have that. I don't think we do. And I think that may be one we have to go sort of fishing for, as it were. Not fishing, but you know what I mean. Um, which we, I think we may be able to do with the plant ball. I'm not positive. Um, no, the white tulip we should be able to find. I should probably look up exactly what biomes those spawn in to improve our chances. Apparently, plains biomes are the place to be. You know, are those, are those them right there? Maybe. Uh, plains biomes are perhaps the ideal place to be looking for white tulips or, or forest flower biomes as well you know we have a nature's compass we should we should use it we should, we should actually make use of the nature's compass that we made oh so long ago for no reason oh look at that salisbury steak lovely so yeah the nature's compass um made famous uh in septec or well, i'm sure i'm sure made famous in a lot of things but um we can go ahead and find a thing plains biome oh man really it's nightfall already oh well that's frustrating and man, it's actually sending us quite a ways away. That's kind of, that's kind of frustrating. Well, let's see if there's a forest biome nearer, or a flower forest biome nearer. Oh yes, there is actually. Awesome. Okay. Cool. So we'll be able to find forest. We'll, we'll be able to get get the flowers nice and easy. We just have to, we just have to wait a night to get that to get that done. I guess in the meantime, we'll uh, craft up the remaining thing that we need for that recipe. And that was, let's see, we just needed iron plates and steel plates, which, uh, yeah, we don't have. Don't have either of those. I need to get the hammer going. Um, and by the way, on the subject of storage, um, I think someone mentioned modular storage is something we really should get into. Um, I swore there was a reason we couldn't get into it. Um, steel chest, nether quartz plate. I think nether quartz plate. Yeah, nether quartz plate is the reason we can't get into um, into that because we would need nether quartz first. And yeah, we don't have... we To do that, we have to go to the nether. So until we're ready to go to the nether, um, I think that is that is off limits to us as far as modular storage goes. I tend not to be a huge fan of the the modular storage blocks just because I don't like the I don't like the UI. Um, but that's also me being obnoxiously picky. Um, we could also um, while we get while we get some of this done, let me clear out some more inventory. I guess. Oh, there we go. We've got steel plates in there. Lovely. Um, <laughs> grab some of this. Put away some other stuff. Oh man. Um, it was also suggested, hey, you know, you could actually manually <laughs> manage your inventory properly. Uh, I could, I could, I could. Um, you, you must be new. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I'm just, I'm just terrible at actually bothering to bothering to do that. And that's why I'm like, oh, I need to find an automated solution as fast as possible because otherwise it will become a, a train wreck. Uh, let's grab some sticks. Um, 
we can make the wand of the forest, which is basically the 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 wand of of all things Batania. So we'll throw those in. Now we get magic was was wisdom wood sticks. Um, throw these up here, and if we had other color, colored petals, actually, let's see, uh, mystical. How would we go about getting these, actually? Oh, okay, so we just need to get them from the flower. Well, get them from the flower. Or, ooh, okay, so locovalence dust with uh, plants of, a, well, okay, it's, a, it's specific plants, it looks like. Okay, that's interesting to know. Cool. Ev eventually, we'll, we'll need to go hunting for those to get the all the proper flowers of things that we want. But for now, we're just dealing with the with the, the two that we have available to us. So let's use the mystical, where did my, my mystical stuff go? I just It's in my offhand for some reason. Okay. Fair enough. Wait. Cosmetic armor. Oh, wait a second. We can wear cosmetic armor on top. I mean, not that we have any right now, but cool. Okay. That's something. Once we get super fancy, that, that'll be good to know. Wait a second. That was supposed to work. Wait a second. No, it's it's okay. It's not it's not two mystical white petals. It's a mystical white petal and then one um thing from the mineral tree. Uh one of these crystallized mineral chunks. Yep. Go ahead and toss that in there. And there we go. A wand of the forest. And this is in bind mode, so we could bind, once we have the flower, we can bind it to the, to the mana spider. Okay. I want to speed things along, because we're, we're really just trying to get to this floating hopper hog today. <laughs> um, and it's, it's going to take us a little while. This is where I, I want to wanna see if we can do it. Okay, so dynamic tank, um, steel, iron plates, red alloy cable. Do we have any red alloy cable in here? We might still have some left over from last time, or maybe not, because I may not have. Okay, so red alloy wire. Okay, yeah, that's not, that's not difficult. What were we... What were we whining about? There we go. And then red out like cable. And we just need two pieces of uh, two iron plates. We can get that in our hammer. There we go. And dynamic tanks. Cool. And this apparently is part of a multi-block that you can, yeah, casing used in a dynamic tank, multi-block structure capable of storing great amounts of fluid, which is a thing that uh, we may at some point want to do with mechanism. Um, getting in, let's see, I think it's, Oh, look at that. There's actually here. Yeah. So make 20 of them and use a dynamic valve, apparently. Um, we, we'll, we'll eventually get into more of the fluid upgrades and stuff, too. But, you know, eh, wh wh whenever we get around to it. Oh, you know what? I didn't see this. I'm glad we actually got two buckets because this uh, is going to require um, one bucket of oil in the work table as well um, in order to craft this. So, OK, we've got everything except the white tulip. So I just have to wait for day and then we will find our f forest flower biome. Okay, so the sun is coming up, and uh, I did d did discover that uh, if we put mana uh, in here, uh, we can combine a lot of uh, random flowers. Not not this one, apparently, um, but a lot of the, the the flowers that you get from the plants mod in here with local valence dust, and you actually get a bunch of these petals. So I just been uh, getting. We have the blue petal, cyan petal, pink petal. And then of course, once we have one petal, we can do that whole bone meal it and shear it thing to just uh, duplicate and triplicate and quadruplicate all of those until we're uh, entirely happy. So let's grab. Uh, our nature's compass, make sure we've got that thing set, and it's going to point us in a direction. And we're just going to follow it, because uh, daylight is coming. Okay, well, it took me a long time to find uh, the white tulips. Um, in fact, I only found one, but uh, before doing anything with it, before using it in the recipe, uh, if, you're, if you're in the same boat as me, once you find a white tulip, put it down, make sure you grab a plant ball, boom. You can go ahead and use the plant ball to have it give you a bunch more that way. You you've got it, and then yeah, yeah, you don't have to worry about it again. This is then this is I, I guess true with all this. Uh, uh, th this whole pack is once you get one of the flowers, you I mean one of a particular type of flower, you're pretty much good to go because you can duplicate that with with plant balls, and uh, we've already seen how you can duplicate the flower petals. But okay, it is time to make our um I, I forget the plant thing that we're making. <laughs> okay, white tulip up there, fight grow over there, dynamic tank in there, and then. Um, we just need mystical white petals right here. The only thing um, additional that is needed is a bit of oil. So we're going to need a bit of oil. There we go. Dump it in there. And please? What do I need? Oh, I need shears. Shears as well. There you go. Has some shears and a petro petunia. That is very exciting. Actually, I wonder. Let's Let's make a plant ball as well and just see. Uh, and that did, yeah, that does does consume the full bucket of stuff, so worth uh, paying attention to there. Let's see, put that there, and I think we need water to do that. I'm curious if we can duplicate the the craft of Batania flower. I mean, it'd be weird if we could, but, you know, weirder things have happened. Um, okay, let's go ahead and, yeah, I need to clear out some space again. Give me a second. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab this oil bucket, because we are going to need to plop down the oil, because the plant will consume the oil to produce mana. Um, okay, so... We are going to plop this plant down. We'll just plop it down right here. It should be 
it will be now within range of this mana spreader, um, and it will consume oil uh, that it finds in any of these areas. So we should be able to put oil, for example, right here. And yeah, the reason we can see this is because we have the uh, the mana sea monocle on here, and this will show us kind of information regarding, uh, yeah, the yeah. It'll show us some basic info. Let's let's see. I'm guessing we can't duplicate. Yeah, okay. So this right-clicking this does not work. We can't use the coagulated plant ball to get free botania flowers. Um, now this says unknown status. Um, this now now so now that we have the the wand of the forest selected, uh, we should be able to right-click this, right-click this, and right-click this. Now they should all be sort of linked in some sort of way. Um, if we hold shift, we you can right-click this and drag it out. In some, I shouldn't have done that. That's terrible. There we go. Okay. There we go. I'm just aiming it that way. I'm just right-clicking, holding, and shifting it that, that way. We'll see. Okay. So now, if this thing were to generate some mana, and we can see that that bar says that it doesn't, um, but we have the checkbox, it is going to send it to that mana spreader. And that mana spreader, we can see is by the lines, will be transmitting the mana into this pool, which is what we want. So all that's left is for us to give it um, a bucket of oil to consume. So go ahead and plop that down. And give it a second. And it should go ahead and eat it up. There we go. It is gone. And now this thing has mana. It's already gone up to here. And we heard that sound. That means the mana is generating, uh, it's getting pushed out of here and into here. Now it's not very much. Um, we will eventually want to go get more mana. In fact, if we do want to use the Petro Petunia as kind of our main source, there are other uh, fuels that we can go with. Probably what we would want to do is look at um, down this side of thing. I think, sorry, methanol. Yeah, methanol and ethanol. Um, our routes you can go down and basically if we, if we look through this real quick you can get to it from wood vinegar or from fermented yeah from fermented biomass which you get from biomass which you get from honey and plant balls or honey and, and, and any sapling or whatever in a brewing machine um, so you can go down that route and then you have a renewable way to get to mana but now we have some mana which is awesome um, all we need now are some grass clippings which uh, we'll grab from our EMC table I should have brought some of those out here but I was not thinking ahead um, and we can convert those into cooler things that's the grass. There we go. Some grass. And I think we'll only do, yeah, we'll only do a couple of these. Um, because I want to save. I don't know what else we're gonna want the mana for, but we don't wanna don't want to use it all up. And if we just come over here, now we should be able to. Yeah, so it'll show us it has enough mana, it will convert this into right, into the thing that we need. Um, and actually we are gonna want at least oh, we don't have enough for two. Oh, what a bummer. Okay, well, you know, I can always go out there and grab one more bucket of oil. What's well, one more bucket of oil? That's not going to kill us. Um, and then we can make a second one because we I will eventually want two hopper hawks for uh, for the for the plan as discussed. But okay, now we have the plant ball. That means we should be able to take um, should be able to craft the floating hopper hawk. Uh, sorry, the float. Well, we can craft a floating anything. We just need any botania flower. Um, we've got some petals um, that we've that we crafted up. So I suppose we can go ahead and just use those. Um, yeah, we'll make we'll use whatever this whatever you are. We'll grow you. Um, so let's. Need some grass. Actually, we can we can do this in here, can't we? Probably. Yeah, let's plop down the dirt and just do it in here. There, okay. And bone meal you. And then shears you. There we go. And go ahead and craft that one into more cyan. So we have more cyan. And then do just do it again. Uh, we need yeah, bone meal. Sorry, there we go. And then actually shears you and then hold on to you. And cool. Um, Thank you for your service. And now we should be able to craft a, well, it's just a crafting anything. So let's uh, do that here. So this, we need one biomass, or sorry, some pasture seed rather, um, and then a flower. And there we go. Now we have a floating cyan flower. So that's awesome. Um, although actually, come to think of it, we can probably just do this with a hopper hawk direct. Well, I guess not, because yeah, you, you have, to, have to craft it that way. Weird. I wonder why, why you can't just, do the make of the recipe. So I guess we have to, yeah, we have to use one flower for that. Now we have a floating cyan flower, which is nice and all, but doesn't do what we want. Uh, we are now, we now just need to generate the actual hopper hawk, uh, which somehow, yeah, okay, it's, it, we never bookmarked it. For that, we just need mystical white petals. We need the control seal we've got for free. Um, we've got, uh, do we have enough iron plates? I don't think so. And let's craft up a proper vanilla style hopper, which I think we, yeah, we get a quest for that as well. Um, congratulations to us. Do we have um, yeah, we still got two extra mystical white petals, so I'm not worried about using that. We just need the control seal, which I think was a quest ward, so we probably dumped it off in here. Yes, we did. There it is. Um, we can use that for golems later, but, you know, we'll we'll have to make another one for that. And there we go. Now we have a hopper hawk. 
Awesome. And we get a quest for that as well. Um, and now, of course, we can make a floating one. And this will be really, really cool. So let's just combine this now with the floating cyan flower. And we get a floating hopper hawk. So the cool thing about this is now we can put this on top of things. It doesn't have to sit on top of a grass block. So, for example, if we wanted to put this on top of, say, this steel chest, there we go. Now it is going. We can yeah, we can see the area that it will operate in. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, let's let's stand over there. So it will pick up anything that it finds in this area that we drop in this area. And look at that. That stuff disappears. And it goes into this adjacent chest. And if we did uh, put item frames and stuff, uh, we it will we could tell it to put certain things into certain adjacent chests, which would be you know something that we could do as well. But of course, we want this so that we can get villagers um, set up upstairs and. Uh, get them producing emeralds, and then we'll collect it all into a nice little area. So, um, yeah, that is uh, that is our delve into Batania for today. I think we'll, we'll go ahead and leave it there, because uh, even even with not uh, doing a ton, well, actually, you know, well, let's let, let's grab the, the quest achieves, because, you know, why not? Um, I just want to make sure we've got this. Yeah, okay, we've got we've got some space. Um, so there we go. Yeah, it's, it does say it's particularly good at handling output from your tree farm, prioritizes inventory next to it with item frames, and then the item you want to sort. So, and then you can put leftovers into a trash can next to it um, if you wanted to. Oh, and we get a floating white flower for that. Nice. And some mashed potatoes. That's also nice. Cool. Are those the... Okay, I thought there was another quest reward, but that, okay, that's, you know, that's something. And this is this is now a way for us to for us to get additional resources, and this is going to be particularly helpful for, for those villagers who just seem to drop stuff randomly throughout the world and <laughs> leave us having to worry about it. So um, I hope this has been helpful. I know that there was there was a request to, to delve into some Batania. We have now done so. Um, you know, we'll, I'm sure we'll, there's going to be a lot more that we will get into with, and even looking at magic, we didn't get some of the quest stuff because uh, it wants us to, um, let's see, it wants us to make mana powder, which uh, is throwing fighter grow into the mana pool, which I think is going to require, yeah, it requires more mana than we actually have in there. So we, we won't do that qu quite yet, but it is going to be part of our progression as we make progress. And we didn't even get credit for Wanda the Forest for that. Oh, man, what a shame. And uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll eventually be doing a heck of a lot more with, uh, with all of the magic mods as we make progress. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to get back to some tech stuff. We need to get... Uh, we need to really ramp up our production and get the the improved, uh, both the both the improved blast furnace and the improved coke oven, or the advanced, or the, whatever the heck they're called, and uh, start uh, actually making use as well of our new steam turbine. So stay tuned for that in future episodes. In the meantime, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you soon. Cheers.